What's going on YouTube? This is yours and Sensation here with a quick guide video on how to get to a hidden area and have some hidden items and a certain attire that you can find in Bloodborne. By the way, this has minor spoilers based on the location, so if you don't want to be spoiled, turn back now and then come back in a little bit. So basically, in order to get this, you need to have the Cathedral Lantern and the Bloodstarved Beast beaten. So immediately turning to your right from the Cathedral Lantern, there will be a door that used to be closed. After you beat the Bloodstarved Beast, it should be open. Run straight through it. Pull the lever for the elevator if it's not already down. Go up the elevator. And then you're going to go across this... Um, sort of encounter this room with this Gatling gunner in a wheelchair. Quickly sidestep him, kill him, open the chest in the back, get your items, then you're going to run across the bridge. You're gonna, there are going to be riflemen on top, and then there's also going to be one dude that's going to come across the bridge and hit you, just smack them in the face. And instead of going inside that building, you're going to roll to the right and drop down a lower level. Now this area is we're going to is going to be where uh, most people are going to have trouble. Just follow exactly where I land and make sure you have a decent amount of health and some blood vials so you can survive the fall. So basically you're going to walk across the beam, drop to the left, and then drop to the left again, and then there'll be a door. Inside the door will be a certain familiar location, which is known as the Old Workshop. Adventuring around here, especially going to where the bath messengers used to be, would be, you'll find the... Um, I believe it's the uh, hairpin, and then there's a couple of other hidden items there, and then a bone that increases your uh, animation of, I think it just quickens your rolling and dodge speed, but you need 15 arcana to use it, so make sure you level up that stat if you want to have a quicker ro uh, roll and dodge. It's pretty useful, as well as finding the doll outfit, ah, the doll outfit's in the messenger bath, excuse me, and then uh, the hairpin, keep the hairpin when you find it. After you go through this entire area, finding all the cool items and everything to explore and all this other stuff, which is it's a pretty cool, pretty interesting area to see. Um, turn the hairpin to the living doll in the hunter's dream instead of the old workshop, and then she'll give you a tear, a tear stone. That tear stone you can use to fortify any weapon of any kind. Hope this guide video helped. And if you want to see more Bloodborne content, please go ahead and check out my channel. If you don't mind subscribing and hitting a thumbs up button and liking the video down below if you like the content. And I want to thank you guys for watching my videos every day. It helps me out a lot. You're awesome. Leave comments down below how you're enjoying the game. If you found the secret location, what you think about that sweet outfit. And uh, yeah, this has been yours in Sensation. I'll see you guys later. Peace! Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? What? What is this? I... I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel. A yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? <gasps> Tell me, hunter. Could this be joy? Ah, 